Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Team of the Season Friday. It is finally here. The first week of many to come with Team of the Season squads from multiple leagues. And we're starting off with Community Team of the Season this week. And I'm going to talk about the squad we'll see in packs today, the content we will get, and also the market implication what's going to go on on the market today. Cards moving up. We're already starting to see some prices dropping, like some really early panic selling into the nighttime and early morning uh, today on Friday. I want to talk about that as well as the new information we have received from EA Sports about Foot Champions rewards and also some leaks with some code being released for some brand new, never seen before icon packs. And that's impacting the market as well. But let's talk about this loading screen. First of all, we had this yesterday. Uh, these cards, I'm going to show you some concepts really fast of who this might be on the loading screen. But if these cards are who we think they are and these are the stats they're giving them, these cards are going to be absolutely juiced and EA is going all out with team of the season, which is what we want to see. But a lot of people are thinking it's going to be Ndombele, Chiesa, and Juan Bisaka on that loading screen. And if you look at these cards, if they have these types of stats, this is a prediction thrown together by Leonard. I'll put his link down below in the description. Um, this could be an insane team of the season squad throughout the next couple of weeks if they're going to be juicing cards this much because all of these cards look absolutely incredible. You know, even just from the stats they released on the loading screen, if Ndombele has 86 defending, that's like a plus 12 or plus 13 upgrade, right? Chiesa with 94 pace in a 92 rated card. I mean, that's a huge upgrade. Even a Juan Bisaka with the 90 dribbling, I think is the stat that it showed on there, uh, would be absolutely insane. So that makes me think a lot that EA is going to be juicing the cards they put out today. Hopefully that is the case. But we are going to see two new squads of 15 players each released today, 15 from Community and 15 from V. Uh, uh, EFL, right? And it's not just EFL Championship, it's the EFL Championship, and then the second league and the third league as well. They're all going to make up that EFL TOTS squad. Now, we're going to have objectives today as well. Last year, we had two objectives on day one of TOTS. We had an EFL and a community objective TOTS card. I think we might get one or two today as well. And then I'm expecting an SBC for a team of the season player today too. Now, last year, we had the Accardi SBC. I would expect some sort of player SBC today on Friday along with the promo team that is coming out. Uh, other than that, I don't think we're going to get the crazy SBCs like upgrade packs. I don't expect those yet. Or again, we'll, we'll talk about some of that. There's a lot to talk about today um, along with upgrade packs and with all that sort of stuff. I don't think we'll see upgrade packs today because it's day one of the promo, right? EA wants you to be focused on opening the saved up packs that you have, opening FIFA points and doing lightning rounds. And they want you to be just oohing and on over the brand new cards and then maybe buy some of them for weekend league, right? So that's really the focus from EA today. They don't want to put out insane, insane SBCs. Most Fridays, they don't do that because they want you to focus on opening your packs. Now, if we see cards like we just looked at on that prediction today, then I think people are going to open their saved up packs. I think there will be a decent amount of people that do that anyway, just because it's team of the season and they'll go we'll get more packs for next week for Prem Tots. Um, but obviously some of you guys are going to be saving. Whether you decide to save or whether you decide to hold, that's up to you. But um, I do think we are looking at some pretty insane cards today in this game. Now, some other news we got from EA Sports just last night, yesterday, is they are confirming that they are going to be updating the foot champions rewards and they have gone ahead and done it you can see community tots packs inside of these rewards is basically the exact same setup as last year but let me quickly explain it this is the post that they, that they put out on the companion app they also put something if you logged into foot they uh, posted a little message there basically if, if you get silver two or three your cap is going to be an 88 rated player because team of the seasons are in red picks Again, and right, that is an absolute W. Um, if you get silver 2-3, it's going to get uh, capped at 88 rating. Gold 2, again, is that threshold to get a guaranteed main league team of the season player as one of your red picks. Now, this is a little misleading because it says one TOTS item from the Community TOTS pack release. What it means is for gold 2, right, you get two different player picks with like, what, three or four different cards in them, depending on if you get gold 2 or gold 3. One of those cards, all it means is one of those cards inside of your player pick that you open is guaranteed to be a team of the season item. That goes from gold two on up, right? And of course, you have more player picks the higher you go and the more choices the higher you go. So there's more opportunity to get multiple community tots cards. So there will be EFL and community tots cards in all picks, uh, but it's just you're guaranteed one of them from gold two 
and above. And that's the exact same as last year. This is a screenshot from last year in FIFA 20. It's the exact same. So this kind of makes it a little bit more nicer when they put it together. But one thing I want to point out is in this post that EA had here, they said top 100 get ultimate team of the week packs, which would be the 11 team of the season players. But if you look inside of the game, you see that it shows rank one through 51 all have the ultimate pack. It, it looks a little glitched here. It says rank 51 through 100 ultimate team of the week pack, but everything before that says ultimate community tots pack. So I think that's just a visual glitch. Um, but then it also has from rank 101 to 200, it says ultimate community tots pack. So since they've switched from the top 100 to top 200 this year, I really think they might be giving out 200, the top 200 players in the world, these 11 team of the season player picks, which is going to put so many coins onto the high tier market in the coming weeks. It's going to be ridiculous. All right. These cards, when they get put into these picks that are put on the market tradable, that's going to put so many coins on the market. We thought it was a lot in years before. It's going to be even crazier this year if they're doing top 200 for those rewards. So that is one thing that I don't think is getting a lot of press right now that needs to be talked about. Um, but the big thing is they're putting tots into rewards. Now let's talk about some leaks and codes. Footwatch was on a madness last night, tweeting out a lot of different stuff. We looked at this live on stream. Uh, they posted some new code. Now, a lot of this we knew was coming, right? Because this is some of the weekend league rewards packs and some of the guaranteed tots packs that we get every single year. But there's a couple interesting ones in here, right? A three times 80 plus rated rare, play rare players pack. All right, decent, right? An 80 times three upgrade pack, not bad. Attacker icon pack. That is the first time we have ever had an icon pack split up not by the version of the icon, but by the position. An attacker icon pack, which will guarantee you one mid, prime, or moments attacker, either right wing, left wing, center forward, or striker. And that is going to be a pack that a lot of people will want to get involved with because, of course, you think about R9, you think about Dog Leash, you think about Eto and Kentana and all those different players that have mid prime or moments positionals that are attackers, there's going to be a lot of people interested in that SBC. But also, if you take a look across the game, a lot of some of the worst icons in the game are strikers, right? Owen, Van Nistelrooy, and Zagi. You take a look at somebody, um, Zola's decent still, you know, uh, Rivaldo is a left wing. A lot of those striker cards uh, are Cliver as well, you know, Rush. Those are going to be strikers and positions and cards that you really don't want to get out of that pack. But a lot of people are going to want to do that pack because obviously that's a brand new pack we've never seen before in FIFA. And you're seeing that market impact right now. You are seeing 86s were getting sold off after content yesterday on Thursday because there was no icon pack, there was no content, and then those codes came out and zoop, right back up they go again. 86s back up into the 20, I think 24, 5, 25,000 coin range almost. By the morning, I think these guys will get there as they are continually rising and high rated fodder. If you bought it either on Thursday or if you bought it on Wednesday, was a really good buy because this stuff has risen up into the hype today. Now, I don't expect expect to see any of these packs that were released in the code maybe the 80 the 80 plus times three that's the only one i would expect to see today the other ones that were included in here were the guaranteed uh efl championship efl league one or efl league two packs so that's going to be one player from the efl team of the season squad and then there was the community team of the season pack as well. We're going to start to get pack updates every single Thursday nights when we have the new leagues upcoming. Uh, and that's going to just be the pack that they'll have a guaranteed TOTS pack, guaranteed player from that squad. Those usually don't come out until a couple days after that. Maybe Saturday, maybe Sunday, and then maybe like Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll start to see those guaranteed team of the season. Um, we'll see if they keep it on a schedule because in the past couple of years, they've done, you know, one on the weekend, the lower league. Then during the week, they do the major league for a guaranteed pack. So that's going to be something to keep a watch on. But that and that attacker icon pack are something people are buying the fodder for right now. I'm not going to recommend buying fodder. It's still kind of low in the grand scheme of things. Uh, but I don't think we're getting the attacker icon pack today. And of course, a lot of packs are going to be open. So um, I was a fan of doing club stock a couple days ago, but now a lot of people are seeing this and they're going to go and want to buy some of this fodder because they're going to say that it's too cheap with these SBCs coming. So that's one thing to think about. Uh, if you have 84s or 85s right now, get them the heck out of your club because 83s with that 83 times 10 pack that was released yesterday are through the roof. I would 100% get them out of your club 
ASAP is what I would do. So that's kind of my thoughts on the whole SPC fodder situation. Now also, I don't know if I've shown you this yet, I don't think I have, but this little website right here, which is gonna be the central hub for Team of the Season on EA Sports' website, this is a very interesting website, right? It's kind of nice, they got it laid out with the latest upcoming and previous Team of the Season squads. This is where you will see the update and all the information put together. Uh, I'll drop the link to this website down below in the description as well. Definitely take a look at this today when they drop Community Team of the Season for some info. Now this is last year's um, website, right? Uh, and this is one thing that I want to point out. A lot of people are talking about upgrade SBCs. We're not going to see this today. I really do not think we'll see any sort of upgrade SBCs unless EA is going to be very uncharacteristic of themselves and drop that. Now, this is what everybody was upset about last year is the premium league upgrade SBCs, which is basically those SBCs they've been giving us this week uh, in the SBC, not the objectives, not the prime player packs, but the premium players packs, uh, the 25K packs with players only from that league. They were only available for 24 hours. So they dropped on Thursdays last year and they went until Friday. We really, really hope that they don't do that again this year and that they release them on Sunday and let them be open all week. That was one of the biggest critiques last year of Team of the Season. So hopefully for everybody who wants to grind upgrade packs, those are going to be available for longer. But upgrade packs are a huge part of Team of the Season. Uh, and during lightning rounds today, since we might not get any of those, the rare cards, if you want to stock up and get those on bid, that could be a great opportunity to do so. So Let's talk about the market because it's been a wild ride the past couple days. We had a, a week uh, with market crashing. We had prices get really low Sunday night into Monday. We've had a lot of prices rise into the later part of the week. Some stuff is sky high right now and some stuff is actually starting to get panic sold. Let me take you around the market and show you some different things right now of prices that are starting to move move both directions. Let's let's look at full birthdays. Adama, 700,000 coins right now. He was 770 earlier today. We've got a um, Awar that is down about 30, 30 to 40,000 coins as well. He was like 620 to 630. He's actually down like 50K at 580. Uh, so you're starting to see right now on this game, People are selling some of the cards that they did have. If you take a look across the market, this Neymar, who was 1.2, uh, 1.25 million coins earlier yesterday on Thursday, he's down to 1.139. So that's a drop off in price. Uh, some other cards are really high up though. This Merton's What If is 510K. That is up a lot right now. So it's kind of a mixed bag right now as we're early Friday morning time frame. But I do think you are going to see panic selling. Now, yesterday was a great day to make coins. You see me making some flips here on some icons and some specials. Um, but I have some other cards right now that I need to get out of my team. I got some flips that might not work out that well as prices are already starting to drop. But I'm going to get my coins liquid because there's going to be some panic selling this morning 100% because it is team of the freaking season, right? It's team of the season and people are waiting for these cards to come out. And if the cards on the loading screen are going to be half as juiced, well, that was a really good deal right there for that Fatih. But even this card's coming down, right? 1.04, you might be lucky to get a sale around 1.09 on that flip that guy just bought right there for the 1 million. Um, but some of these cards are 100% dropping. So that's what I'm gonna say this morning is watch out for the panic because also with those team of the season rewards being locked in, if there are people that panic sell this morning, they're 100% buying back later tonight on Friday because those team of the seasons are gonna be in rewards. People are gonna know that. They're gonna be sweating uh, and for all they're worth this weekend to get those team of the seasons, the best record they can in weekend league to get those tots rewards. So weekend league is going to be uber sweaty now. And there's also going to be uber demand for cards on the market. I think out of packs cards today, especially ones that are meta and rare are going to fly after 6 PM because unless there's a huge SBC and content that we are not expecting um, today, I think that a lot of this market is going to get sold off this morning and it's going to fly post 6 p.m. That is what happened last year. I remember trading with multiple different types of players last year, uh, special cards that are out of packs. You guys know which ones to look at, right? Your guys that are meta, the guys that are, you know, fluctuating in price a lot on this game anyway, potential some of the links to the TOTS cards that are coming out today, like this Bergwijn's up 30K already from where he was. But you know, like those foot birthdays that we were just looking at, these cards are very meta and they're pretty rare on the game, right? These foot birthdays are pretty rare. So if you see panic selling on Sterling, if you see panic selling on Modric, Awar, Atal, Adama, all of these out of pack special cards on this game today, I am giving you the green light that if you see big drop offs, of course, monitor that card, right? You have to know if that card is something that people are going to sell and want to buy back for their teams. 
but I do think there's going to be a big rebound on the market tonight after some panic selling. Conte's kind of low right now, 850. That's interesting to me, right? That could be a card that has a lot of demand later tonight. Icons, moments, baby icons, middle icons, all of them. If there's panic selling today, get involved in that panic selling, in my opinion. Now, also, since we have brand new team of the season cards coming out, I'm going to show you what I did last year with some of the team of the season squad because this was our team of the season most consistent or team of the season community squad from last year. And when this was released last year, the one thing that I noticed, and we're noticing it this year as well with the cards that are in the voting, there's not a lot of attackers. There's not a lot of attackers in that team and the attacking options that were in the vote this year for a community team of season in FIFA 21 were not that good. There was literally Striker Dembele last year and Zaha were the only two strikers. So a lot of strikers that got panic sold in the morning heading into team of the season last year exploded. So I would seriously, again today, since there were not a lot of attackers in that vote, watch out for attackers again today. Strikers, center forwards, right wings, left wings, but mostly just those strikers and center forwards because if we don't get any new TOTS cards, if people are panic selling strikers, they're going to go back out and buy those exact same ones to go play on their weekend league teams because there's no new card they can go and use instead. So that's one thing to kind of watch out for. And watch these promo cards first hour. This is what I did last year on FIFA 21. FIFA 20. Uh, I bought 15 of those Team of the Season Musa Dembele cards for 115 to 120,000 coins. And I sold them from between 160K and 177,000 coins. I made bank last year on this exact Friday. You can see a lot of the cards that are in my uh, transfer list here as well are strikers, right? Take a look at this page. I think it's the same one, actually. Let me scroll back one more. We've got Griezmann Striker. We have Lewandowski, Lacazette, Aubameyang, Holland, right? Special cards. I traded with a ton of strikers last year, and I made a lot of coins doing it just because there was so much panic selling and so much bounce back. And I really think that that is going to happen again today. So watch out for those team of the season cards in the first hour because, again, with those saved up packs, what people are going to do today is they're going to open FIFA, they're going to rip the packs, and then they're going to go and buy their team for their weekend league, maybe do an SBC or something if there's like a pack supply SBC or stuff like that. But really watch that pack supply in the first hour. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it, and I really want to stress that to you because that's going to be a big point today. But again, also the other big point is if there's panic selling this morning, that just unlocks a huge potential for a massive market rise later in the evening tonight on Friday because that just means everybody who panic sold is going to be buying back because they need to play weekend league to get those rewards. So that's a big part about today. If you see low prices this morning, don't be afraid to pull the trigger, especially if it's a really popular card. You know, obviously some cards have risen up a lot. Like this Michael Owen was 600K on Wednesday. He is up to about 650,000 coins. This guy is in packs today as well. Watch for undercuts if this is a card you want for your team. Uh, and of course, it's a striker card today, right? Links to some of the... Um, potential English cards that could be coming out for the EFL team this season. That's one other thing to watch out for today. Specific icons, right? Since the community team of the season is made up of a lot of different uh, leagues and you've got EFL tots as well, watch your English icons and watch your icons in general because some people might be putting some icons in their teams to piece together some of these new tots cards that do come out. So just kind of keep that in mind today as well. As people are building teams with the new tots cards, when we see the squad today, We'll be able to kind of decipher and make some more decisions based off of what cards actually make it into community team this season. So it's going to be a fun, freaking awesome day today on FIFA, man. I'm so stoked. I really hope they give the juice to these cards that are coming out for team this season. But it's going to be a fun day, right? New team in packs, of course. We're going to have new SBCs probably for a player or two and then probably an objective or two as well. And I really see if EA... If you have any surprises for us today, I'll be interested to see what those are because I really feel like community team of the season is not like the most hyped week of TOTS, right? Next week with Prem TOTS is number one. This one's kind of like just a step up in the hype. But some of the cards that we could be seeing today will be incredible to watch, to try out. And I think they're going to be expensive today. I really do think they're going to be pretty expensive compared to team of the seasons of past because, again, so many cards have been sold off. People have so many coins at the ready uh, to buy these cards. We're going to watch, watch the pack weight and all that sort of stuff too and keep that in mind for today. But that's the video for today, boys. I'm so happy that team of the season is freaking here, boys. If you're hyped, hit that like button. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.